Each year, the Senegalese National Committee of the United World Colleges receives scholarship offers from the organization's international office. Tomorrow, Monday, May 17, in Dakar, an admission exam will take place in order to select the best students eligible for this scholarship. T tonight with us we have Mr. Baidi Ndiang, who is the coordinator of the selection of the United World Colleges here in Senegal. Good evening, Mr. Baidi Ndiang, and welcome. Uh, good evening. I mean, thanks for having me. Thank you very much. So can you tell us a bit what exactly is the United World Colleges? Well, I think it's a movement that was created uh, back in 1962. Uh, and the aim was in the aftermath of the Second World War, uh, the idea was to unite people coming from all over the world, uh, aged from 15 to 17, to live together in a boarding environment, uh, two years, uh, coping, I mean, coping two, two things, you know, academic excellency, and uh, the need to be uh, trained to service communities. So it started in 1962 in, the United, in the Great Britain. And then uh, from all over the world now you have 19 schools that are called United World Colleges that are delivering the International Baccalaureate Diploma. Uh, which is uh, managed by the, uh, the office based in Geneva. And the idea is really to, to, to give a chance to people from all over the world to live together because that's a very critical age, you know. From 15 to 17, that's the age where you still can absorb new ideas and be open to the world rather than having people uh, older and where they are already kind of grown up and they cannot change their minds. Okay, so we're talking about scholarships for the best students in Senegal. What is the selection procedure? Well, the selection procedure is on uh, uh, two stages. First is uh, academic excellencies. So what we do in cooperation with the Ministry of National Education is a selection nationwide. That is all the region in Senegal we get, we ask the colleges and the lycée, what we call the lycée, to propose two of their best students. So on the academic basis, we receive the files and we see their record from the class of sixième, what we call sixième, up until the class of uh, second, second, and uh, for five years in fact. And then we select that based on academic merit and the second stage will be interviews. And the objective of the interviews is to be able to be, to be sure that we can select people that will adapt to a new environment. You know, sometimes it's easy to be very good academic speaking, but once, when, once you get somebody from where he is family based, his nation, and you bring it abroad, uh, it's not necessarily sure that that, uh, that student will be able to, to, to adapt it himself to there. So what we do is we're having that interview session where we ask about the general culture, uh, the capacity of having um, uh, new ideas, uh, other interests, interests other than academics. Okay. And that's very good if students can show their interest to kind of uh, social issues, political issues, uh, or things that happen in their own communities. And this is very interesting for to hear them and see what their, what their opinions are on that. Okay, so the interviews is really what is going to make them stand out. Exactly. Okay, exactly. all right. So um, what are the benefits for the students? What exactly are the benefits for the students? I mean, that's the change to an opening to the world, in fact. You know, most of them have never been outside of their country. Some have never been outside of their own even city. You know, some people have never gone out of Dakar, when I talk about the people coming from Dakar. But sometimes some people coming from Tamba, Kunda, or even in the rural areas, they've never been to a big city. And this is a big change. So they're going to be mixed with other people coming from the United States, from America, from Latin America, from Europe, from Asia. And you know, it's a wonderful experience. 
you know, being with those people, sharing, you know, getting your own culture, being known by others, and you also knowing about other culture, other religions, and this is really fundamental in constructing uh, somebody uh, to be a citizen of the world. So that's the real idea, in fact. Okay, so you said the schools are the ones selecting the students. So what if the students want to to be part of it? Can they apply on their own? No, what we do, I mean, there are two ways of selecting people. The main way with scholarships, we go through the Ministry of National Education System. That's the school system. And we need to get the f academic files from their school. So the school are proposing their best students. Okay, that's one thing for you know to be able to get some scholarship for that because the studies are very expensive. So that's the scholarship system. There is another one which is a very smaller one, but these are the ones for when people will apply when their parents can actually pay for the for the tuition right. and the accommodation. But for those, it's only 10% of the whole movement. So we focus much more on the 90% of the movement because it is based on academic merit. And the idea for Senegal was that to send among the best students in the class of second. That has been the idea ever since we, Senegal joined that movement in 1977. And this movement was uh, joined by Senegal uh, on the initiative of the president, late president uh, Leopold Sedar Senghor. And it has been like that all the way up to now. You know? And we try to keep it going because we believe, because we've been through that. I've been through that you know, uh, from 1980 to 1982. And I believe that's a very rich experience that I had that has changed, I think, my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, we would like, as alumni, that opportunity be given to as many as Senegalese students to leave that at least for two years and then move on into university studies. So the benefit for the student would be uh, when they go out of that with the International Baccalaureate Diploma, they can apply to also the best universities in the world. And that education system is very fit into the Anglo-Saxon uh, university system. So many of the students that go through the United World Colleges, I mean, they go to the best universities in the United States. How many universities exactly are part of this, this United? Um, well, colleges, I would say. Uh, today, 19. 19. 19. Yeah. Or, or around the world. Around the world, across four continents. Okay. The first one was in Great Britain, 1962, and then you had, you had one in Canada, in Vancouver, in the uh, Pacific side. You had one also in the United States, created in 1982. In Italy, you have, in, you have it also in uh, Hong Kong. You have it in Singapore. You have it in Shanghai. You have it in many countries in Europe. And there is one to be open in France in about two years, in France. Uh, I said, remember I said that the, 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 the movement is mainly Anglo-Saxon. And the good thing about Senegal, it is Senegal is an African country, a Francophone one, and a country where you have 90% of Muslim people, which gives it its kind of uh, specificity, and, uh, and, 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 and Senegal has so far been providing very fine students. And that's why, I mean, we really struggle for that, for people to go there. So we go and get the scholarship and we make the system. And the alumni are really working hand in hand with uh, the Ministry of National Education for the past 30 years. And it's going really well. And we are every year able to give fine students and be reckoned, reckoned for that by the, the, by, by the colleges. Thank you very much, Mr. Biden Jang. Let's recall that you are the president of the Alumni Association and the coordinator of the selection for the United World Colleges here in Senegal. Thank you very much for your answers. You're going to get more details on tomorrow's exam on the, our subsequent news tomorrow. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We've come to the end of the 7 p.m.